the final major of the Golf Association of Philadelphia calendar traveled to Berks County, Pennsylvania for the 105th Joseph H. Patterson Cup. Conducted at both Berkeley Country Club and Mozellum Springs Golf Club, the 36-hole medal play tournament serves as the stroke play championship of the association. It also doubles as the final two rounds of the prestigious Silver Cross. Typically, each year the push for final glory develops slowly. A crowd of leaderboard early before a player or two breaks free of the pack in round two. This year proved no different. When the first 18 holes were complete, it was Chris Lang of Overbrook Golf Club, one of the most decorated players in the association's history, posting a 4 under par 68 at Berkeley, good enough for a one-shot lead. Chris Lang's birdie try here on the 18th at Berkeley slides by just to the high side, but it's happened for a good par, especially considering his second shot went to right of the green side trees. Berkeley, playing statistically easier on this day, saw the low six scores of the morning posted. Chris Gold of Little Mill Country Club and Robbie Robertson of Sunnybrook Golf Club were at three under, while Ray Thompson of Overbrook Golf Club, Cole Wilcox of Philadelphia Country Club, and defending Patterson Cup champion Stephen Arnold of Yardley Country Club finished at two under. At Mozellum, it was the Ace Club's Adam Cohen, Michael McDermott of Marion Golf Club, and Nathan Sutherland of Berkshire Country Club, topping that site with even par 70s. Round two opened with the weather looming, but after a brief sprinkle, skies cleared, and Lang, McDermott, and Sutherland separated themselves from the field. Sutherland was the first to get into the clubhouse, and he did so in style. The 18-year-old native of Wild Missing, Pennsylvania, birdied four of his final eight holes, including this short part on number seven, and another one on number nine, to finish at four under. As Sutherland was finishing, Lang was surviving the difficult back nine at Mazellum Springs, his front nine in the afternoon in even par, and stood at four under for the tournament. Meanwhile, it was McDermott, a three-time Player of the Year, surging to the top of the leaderboard. He birdied nine of his first 14 holes to get the six under for the tournament. So when I saw that Chris Lang shot four under and some other people had shot some good scores, I knew that other people were going to shoot low. And... McDermott would finish the day six under. However, Lang was still on the course in Mazellum and the lone remaining threat to McDermott. A birdie on the par five seventh moved him to within a stroke, when his approach shot at number 8 came up about 40 feet short of the hole, and after running his birdie chance by, by about 4 feet, his comebacker went astray as well. Yeah, that was, uh, I really didn't know where I stood at that point. I hit the first putt, it just a little bit too hard. Actually, I didn't hit it that bad. And, uh, the putt coming back, I just didn't hit it, it, just didn't hit it firm enough. And, uh, it took a right hand turn right at the hole, so that was just hard to The par on 18 by Lang kept him in the time for second with Sutherland. Today, Michael McDermott. Last summer was the year I got married, and the summer was a, was a, a work, and, and I didn't even try for the U.S. Amateur, which is something I normally obviously pl try to play in. And uh, you know, just priorities change, but uh, it's just good in, in Gap now to just you start to doubt. And certainly, my friends were always joking with me that my time was passed. So, with the <laughs> scores that it takes to win these tournaments now, it's it's really nice to win this, and it's, it's sort of a, a nice weight off my shoulders and a great weight on the year. McDermott's performance not only netted in the Patterson Cup, but also his second Silver Cross. For Gap TV, this is Martin Emino.